Welcome everyone to this video. We are going to cover a hacker rank program or problem in Python. So let's begin. The problem we're covering today is called find a string. In this challenge, a user enters a string and a substring. You have to print the number of times that the substring occurs in the given string, since traversal will take place from left to right and not right to left. String letters are case sensitive. The first line inputs the original, the second is the substring. They give you some constraints. The length is greater than one and less than 200, and each character is ASCII. Output the number indicating the total, nine of, total number of occurrences that the substring is in the original string. Let me try to explain. What they have here is a string, A, B, C, D, C, D, C. That's the original string. And what they want you to find is CDC, the substring. How many times does it occur from left to right? So if we go through this, here's the first time we see CDC. And if we keep going from left to right, so we can overlap, and then here you see it again, CDC. So it is twice. They give you a little clue here that you will be using a for loop, and they give you some other information like for example you want to use the full length of the string and then we're going to print out the iterations uh, another thing that we could consider here is the range from 0 to 5 so what that means is from 0 to 4 5 is excluded so they give you a little more information there so what I'm going to do is I am going to use a for loop and an if statement so first thing I'll do is I want to create a couple variables uh, to establish the length of the full string and the substring. So let's do that first. So we'll do the string length and we'll set that equal to the length of string. And then we'll do sub length and that's the length of the substring that they're giving us. Okay, so now we have the length of both strings. So now we can do our for loop. So for i in range, and we're gonna do the string length. The, we're gonna loop through the full, the first line that they give us. Okay, and then we'll do our if statement. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna check the, we're gonna loop through this string, and we're gonna start with i, and we're gonna add the length of the small substring. So that's basically in this example three characters. So we're going to we're going to start with i and then we'll loop through that. So i and then the next i plus the substring. So in this example uh, plus two. Then what we'll do is compare that. Does it equal the substring that they give us? So let's Let's write that out. So for uh, if string, and then we'll start at position i, and i plus the substring length. Okay, and then does that equal substring? And then if it does, uh, sorry, I would want to count the number of times. So here, for example, they have, it happens twice. So we need a variable and we need a counter. So I'll come up here and create a counter variable. And here we're going to add the counter if that occurs. And then we want to return the counter. Okay. Whoops. All right, let's go ahead and run that. And it passes too. So we'll try it against all the test cases and they all passed. So that'll do it for this video. Hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comments below. If you're interested in other videos, uh, check out the Knowledge Mavens YouTube channel. All right, see you the next time. So long.